just got well i've just jumped off or finished listening to cowboy carter beyonce's recent new album has just dropped hot off the press i've had one through listen to it all the way through it's 27 tracks for a lot of people it's going to be a little bit too much to listen to all in one go but being a bit of a music freak that i am i did do it now to be fair to her 27 tracks is a little bit it's a bit it kind of um it's, it doesn't feel like 27 tracks basically there's a lot of interludes and vibey atmospheric type of skits and whatever we call there's loads of like tunes in the album that you would describe as skits most likely or you know um that do a good job of sort of like telling the story of the overall album and kind of giving it a theme kind of giving it a vibe and just kind of getting you in a zone of what she's trying to go for now the title of the album was very very off-putting or kind of misleading sorry cowboy carter when i first heard the title of the album i assumed she was going country there are some country records on there there's some country icons on there dolly parton to name to name but one and a few others who i probably don't even recognize their voices but it's not a country album essentially from what i can gather having listened to it the whole way through once and i've not gone online and seen any theories or whatnot but you know judging by the fact that beyonce is from houston texas or whatever it's given me more so of a vibe of this is more like of um of her attempt to tell her story whether it's a story through her eyes through her own eyes growing up in houston texas whether it's her basically taking on the persona of her mum or somebody else in her family and basically telling their story through these different songs. Because the older you get usually, especially, you know, the more fame that they have, they probably have more resources now, more access to different people. So maybe different members of their family are now coming up with different stories or other members of the family are now being unearthed, who are now being able to piece together bit by bit the different, um, you know, story of their entire family and now she wants to kind of put it together in a sort of musical package and considering how divided the country is and america and shit it's a, maybe a good way of maybe trying to you know knit things together and kind of show you know essentially you're all equal underneath that stars and stripes banner or something i don't know that's what i'm that's what i'm currently seeing in the album it's almost a little bit more preachy than it is about celebrating country music it almost seems a little bit like hey remember when we were the united states of america remember we were when we were the home of the free land of the brave or whatever that fucking term is that's why i'm currently getting listening to the beyonce car album um cowboy carter sorry the first way through listening to it i was really impressed i'm not gonna lie even though there's a lot of like interludes and skits and whatnot um probably a little bit too many than i would like it does a good job of kind of telling the story does a good job of tying everything together and i think theoretically it just kind of you know it works but you know as per usual when it comes to these type of albums the quality of it it just sounds expensive even though this feels like i don't know i i know there, there was a press release that came out that said beyonce has been working on this album for years um and everything else but it, but it kind of feels like it was turned around quickly in my opinion again i could be wrong even if it was it still feels like a lot of good money was spent to get this to sound a certain way it just hits differently on your eardrums which is interesting considering the amount of albums i've kind of listened to this year and just generally the albums that we all listen to on the timeline and shit it's always a good reminder to see like you know the difference between like the the artists that we all know and love and then the top top tier ones like the you know the ones who command all the big bucks the ones that tour fucking stadiums around the world and shit because this album sounds incredibly expensive um it sounds like it's had a million people work on it t you know fine tune it touch it up and make sure that it's the precise project needs to be when it eventually drops um i can't wait to listen to it again one more time to kind of give it one more listen but i do recommend you check it out beyonce cowboy carter one listen so far and i've really really enjoyed it i cannot complain i cannot lie and i cannot complain